This porcelain tile is 9 by 48 and we have to make this cut here around the uh, curvature of the wall. First step is to cut this tile to the size that we have from here to that corner, which is about 38 and 1 8. So I already measured, made a mark. So let's cut this and using this Sigma to cut it. I line up the line there. That's it. We have our cut and we place the tile over the next row, perfectly aligning it. See with the grout line, it's perfectly aligned. So this tile is just sitting on top of this row. And also here, I place the tile here as if we already have a grout line between that tile and this tile. And then I took a measurement from there to the wall and I transferred it here. And then I also took a measurement from here to there and transferred this from here to here. So basically this line I marked is the corner, the wall there. How do we transfer the exact curvature of the wall on the tile? We know that this point here, this is here, right? If you take a piece of tile, same width as the tile. If you take one of these and put it here, see from the wall, you realize the line is right there at the end of the tile. So what I came up with, I taped a pencil to a piece of tile, piece of tile being same size from here to here, right? So let me see if I can do this with one hand. I always have to keep this parallel to this line, to this grout and perpendicular to that, 9 degrees. I cannot go like this or like this. And always touching the wall and following that. So let's see what I can achieve. I can take the Sharpie now and mark over the uh, pencil and then cut the tile. And hopefully this will fit perfectly in there. I use the uh, plunge feature of the wet saw and I move the tile around this way and uh, I score the line, see, it's all, it's all scored here. And then here I plunged it completely, so this is cut through. And now I'm gonna cut the tile here on this line and then on another line, like half an inch in up to here, and then I'm gonna clear that corner so it, it looks rounded. See, so I made one cut here and then I kind of continued making this cut so I broke off that piece. I'm gonna make some more cuts here. Maybe try to put the blade a little deeper here and then try to break off each piece. And then I already made a couple of cuts here and I eliminated this piece. I cut all these slivers, just kind of put pressure here, see? But I find it's better if I hit it with something like this. All of them are broken. And I'm just gonna shave this. And these two. So it's all done. This is how it looks. Let's see if I can put it in using just one hand. Let's try here first. Okay. Okay. And it looks pretty good to me. Pretty good. There you go. And if you think this is a too big of a gap, it's not so much because the drywall is missing down there. So looking from above, you see, it's perfect looking from here. The drywall is missing a little bit. In order to check, be even more accurate, take a piece of tile. The baseboard is going to be thicker than this. But I'm taking a piece of tile as if this was the baseboard and I'm dropping it down, see? But if this piece of tile covers perfectly here, see? Then a piece of baseboard will definitely cover. So it's not not too big of a gap. It's just that the drywall doesn't go all the way down. See, I can stick my finger in there. There you have it, beautiful. So now mix the inset and install the piece of tile and then use these wedges. These wedges go here and uh, they go all around in these. They are too many, these are too many, but that's because they are uh, under here, stuck in the thin set under here. Um, and uh, it's sometimes they break. So I put three instead of two here. Same there, three instead of two, just to have enough if, in case one breaks. 24 hours later, after this tile was installed, I usually just take a hammer, which is kind of risky. You gotta be careful not to hit the tile. I hit here at the top. I don't hit on the bottom. I don't touch the tile. I do this and see they pop out. Or I do this, like this. Okay, like that, like that. And that's it. And these wedges are reusable. And these are garbage, and the bottom part of these, it's buried deep down there under the tile forever. It's gonna be covered with grout.